you know, I thought for years that I would die the way I was after I got injured. I never thought I would be sitting here today after a face transplant. Never thought that. Some of the important elements of uh, Patrick's face transplant, and the, the most important one was, was to provide uh, functioning eyelids. He had lived for 14 years without the ability to protect his corneas, which are important to preserve vision. And when you look at him now, open and close your eyes for me, blink, blink. In addition to the eyelids, we wanted to make sure that he had a normal appearing face. He was missing his nose. Uh, the lips had been reconstructed with tissue from inside his mouth. He had prosthesis at his, as his ears. So the goal of a face transplant is to make a patient function normal and look normal. And these are uh, important elements that we had to include. How do you like your new face? I love it. It's great. You can actually walk down the street and all the stairs, the points. Or... I'm just a normal guy right now. She knows what's up. There are probably three big elements to this case. Number one, that he survives. Most of the world does not know that the last patient that had this type of procedure got through the surgical procedure, but the patient developed a substantial wound, developed persistent infection, and died. So there was a big concern. Could we repeat this, and would it be possible, or would we face the same problem that the last surgeon, which was a very good surgeon, and his team faced? Dr. Rodriguez told you at one point that there was a 50-50 chance of success. Did you think twice about that? No. I never, I knew I'd live through this. I knew I went down my fucking title. That's never scared me one bit. There's a lot of things in life worse than dying. We preserved Pat's muscles of facial expression. We did not want to compromise that. We actually overlaid the donor facial muscles on his functioning muscles, and it's his functioning muscles that are moving that face. What did your kids say? What were you worried about when they saw you for the first time? Nothing. Because they knew I was their dad, and I talked to them on the phone, and they knew I was looking different. But they were happy because I was finally healthy.